Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to the Reptile Barn. I am inside a greenhouse. Um. Um. Um, I know this is a reptile channel, but I keep showing these quail that I'm about to show you because I think they're awesome. So if you don't like quail, if you just like reptiles, you don't have to watch. That's fine. So uh, what we're doing... Uh, they are getting big. Wait till you see how big these suckers are getting. I need to deep clean their tub again. I'm trying to do it like every four days or so. They're now so big, it's very hard to keep control of them without just, you know, really grabbing them and scaring them. So I am in a greenhouse outside. I'm going to just let them go. I'll take their tub out. I'll deep clean it. And then I'll come back in here. So uh, it's nice out. It's been like 70 or so today, I think. So uh, they're fine, you know, they're three weeks old, so they can handle, they don't need a heat lamp anymore, really. Um, so yeah, let's see how this goes. I'll uh, set this camera somewhere where we can see everything, and this should be interesting. Here they are. This is their first natural sunlight. It's fascinating to see how they're responding. Uh, I've been told that when they're really too cold, they will uh, huddle up, so I'm really glad to see that they're spaced around. It means they're dealing just fine with this temperature. Um, nobody panicked. <laughs> a couple of them gave me a good run when I was trying to pull them out of the bin, but uh, none of them, none of them freaked out too bad. Some of these definitely can fly several feet up, but none of them are. <coughs> excuse me. None of them are strong flyers yet. Not that I think quail ever become particularly fabulous flyers, but hmm, there you go. So I'm going to clean out their bin, and then I'll come back in here and scoop them up. This is pretty cool, though. By the way, I do have a favorite quail in here, and it is... This one. It's so pretty. I just love that one. It's the only one with coloration like it. The majority of them are these guys. I have two white ones like this with the yellow eye spots. I have one it's mostly white but with some silver and yellow on it. I have a bunch of these dark ones. And then my favorite, where did it go? Oh, there it is. That one. So, call me silly, bonding with the feeder animals, but I do like them. All right. So, it is 65 degrees in this greenhouse, as I said, but by tonight I'm guessing it'll be down to more like 55. So I have plugged in a heat lamp that'll go about right over this spot right here. I've also put some straw down. They have been kind of burrowing in and out of it, however, I just put food in here, <laughs> so they all came out. But uh, they like the straw, and that'll help them keep warm. They can huddle together for warmth, um, and it's not going to get brutally cold. So I'm pretty satisfied that they'll be safe through the night. The next things we need to do uh, before I go to bed, I need to put in some hide boxes for them, uh, places to get out of the light. I, I've heard that too much light can stress them out, and June in Alaska is too much light. <laughs> so I've got their straw. I've got their food, I've got their water, I've got more straw, and I've got a hot spot right here to help them stay warm if they need to. So I need to put in um, hide boxes, and I will need to put in some screen over the door behind me because um, tomorrow it's going to get way too hot. If it's 75 degrees outside and the sun beating down for 20 straight hours on a greenhouse, uh, it's going to get way too hot in here. 
so I don't want to roast them. So there's actually a vent that opens hydraulically um, depending on the temperature. So obviously that'll just kind of open and they're not good enough flyers. I'm not worried about that yet. They can fly about a foot. Um, but the door behind me I'll also want to open and I will put um, screen over that so that that can stay open all day. And I will also come out in the morning and turn off that heater. So for a very, very temporary um, place for them to live, this will work. When we first came out here with them, I intended to just put them in here long enough, put them in here long enough to uh, clean out their bin. But seeing the size of them uh, and how much they seem to enjoy all this space, I just felt criminal to put them back in that tub. So I'm going to leave them in here. Just do a couple little things tonight so that they're all taken care of. And uh, we will build their enclosure, which will also be over here in the backyard. So the quail are doing great. Um, there's a few that I'm starting to think are trying to crow, which would mean that they're male. So I'll start to be able to differentiate genders. We will take down our number of males slightly uh, so that we have a favorable ratio. And we are good to go. So uh, I will show you the end result here in a minute, um, but for you guys it'll be okay. So we have rigged everything how we like it. Sort of. Uh, yeah, Liz just said sort of, uh, but we're ready to go. This is only for a few days, um, so it'll be great. Let's take a look. Uh, as I said before, we've got a little box down there full of straw if they want to go in there couple of piles of straw in the corners, water that will clean every day obviously, food which they have discovered to their delight. We have a heat lamp, they haven't been using it and it's now down below 60 degrees in here and they're still absolutely fine so I'm very pleased with their uh, cold tolerance being just you know three week old chicks but if they want it this spot right here is nice and warm. Mm, feels good. So, over here, we put a big, their old tub, in fact, <laughs> propped it up on buckets. We shoved a bunch of straw underneath. That will be um, a cool little shelter um, during the day or even at night. Uh, help them hide out from the sun. We have this gate that we will block off the door with so that uh, we can leave the door open and let a nice breeze come through without them escaping. So we'll rig that up. And other than that, we're done. We're just, uh, we're actually putting a tarp around the base of part of the greenhouse just to have a little bit more sun blockage. This greenhouse gets remarkably hot. Um, Alaska is not a hot place, <laughs> but uh, even on a 65 degree day, we've seen this greenhouse get up to like 120 degrees. Just absolutely way too hot for these quail. So, we'll block off some of the sun, we'll make sure the door can open, get a nice breeze through there, and they will be good to go, and we are golden. So, uh, that's all for now. Um, thank you for watching. And I know that this was not a reptile video, but it's a reptile food video. So there you go. Uh, until next time, this is the Reptile Bar.